here's a problem where you're not given particular concentration values and you utilize one of the integrated rate equations. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes into water and oxygen. The reaction is first order with a rate constant of 1.6 times 10 to the minus third per minute. How long will it take for 58 percent of the sample to decompose? We use the first order integrated rate equation natural log of the concentration at a particular time each equals the natural log of the initial concentration minus kt. Rearrange this equation and solve for t, the time associated with the particular concentration. In order to get to this third step, utilize the properties of logs. Because we're not given a particular concentration, we can rewrite the concentration at the particular time, AT, as the initial concentration times 42%. Because if we start off with 100%, we're consuming 58%, so 42% remains. So recall that AT is the concentration at a particular time. We can take advantage of substitution and substitute A0 times 42% into the equation. When doing that, we see that we have 100% over 42% and the variable is the same and that would be A0 because we have uh, both concentrations in terms of A0. So that cancels out leaving 100 over 42. Take the natural log of that, simplifies to 0.868 which equals the rate constant times t. Solving for t, you get a 542 minutes. We could estimate if the answer calculated is correct. This is a useful thing to do to verify that your setup, rearrangement, and plugging and chugging into your calculator in fact worked out correct. What we'll do is calculate the half-life for the reaction. We can do that easily because the half-life for a first order reaction is 0.693 divided by the rate constant. So the half-life for this reaction is 433 minutes. Here's the table I used to generate this curve. And estimating where 42% would be, we can see that the time associated with 42% is approximately close to the time we calculated using the first order rate equation. Another way to think about this is that 433 minutes, 50 percent is consumed. So the answer of 542 minutes is justified because more than 433 minutes needs to pass in order to have more than 50 percent consumed. A common question that comes up when you're given a problem without particular amounts is don't we need more information like an initial amount of something like peroxide in this case? In many rate problems you don't necessarily need the actual initial and final amounts. What you do need is the percent consumed or remaining. In this problem we're given the half-life of a first order reaction and asked to determine how much time it takes for three quarters of the reactant to decompose. We first use the half-life to determine the rate constant K. Rearrange the equation half-life equals 0.693 divided by K to determine what the value of K is. In this case it's 0.0059. We can now substitute the value for k in the first order integrated rate equation. Because we're told three quarters of the reactant decomposes, that translates to one quarter or 25 percent of the reactant remains at that particular time. A0, 100 percent, and AT would be 25 percent. We solve for T and come up with 236 seconds. Using the half-life, we can generate a curve showing the decomposition of the reactant. 
and we see at 25% remaining, the time is approximately 236 seconds, which is what we've calculated. Here's a similar problem with percent and the first order integrated rate equation. The rate equation for the decomposition of compound X is R equals K times X. Given that equation, you know the reaction is first order because the exponent on the molarity of X is 1. So at 47 degrees, the decomposition is 30% complete in 5 hours. Calculate K and the half-life. 30% complete translates to 70% remaining. Substitute values into the first order integrated rate equation. When doing this, it's determined that K is 0 0.0713. Now we could use the half-life equation to determine the half-life. Rearranging, half-life equals 0.693 divided by K and the half-life is 9.73 hours. To support our answer, we could again plot the decomposition curve for this reaction using the half-life. So when 70% remains, it lines up nicely with 5 hours.